Well, welcome back to Den's Bike Adventures. Here we are at Millie Vanilli. its way up. Perfect. Whew. Under here. As soon as I gather my breath. <sighs> so this is my 2022 uh, Norco Bigfoot. 23 anyways it's uh it's the bigfoot uh, three uh the dropper post here i put on the dropper post myself because i like dropper posts uh recently as you might notice my videos had to go in for a couple of repairs so i got a new new hub on there new cassette everything is all adjusted everything seems to be working fine so far Earlier this year, I did put a, a new crank on, a little smaller crank, uh, 28 tooth. Just helps a little bit more with that climbing, me being a bigger guy. Um, it's got 27 and a half inch tires. So both the uh, snow avalanche, they seem to be doing a good job. I did put studs in it myself. Um, so the tires are studded. Um, yeah, so on the bike, I always carry a pump, a tool, tool kit, uh, in the pump, some plugs or uh, some patches, um, and a water bottle on my person. I always, uh, always carry a couple snacks and my cell phone, and I got my Garmin GPS on, on the handlebars of the bike. Also, these Rock Bros hand warmers, Right now I'm wearing my, my summer gloves and it's minus six today with the wind chills minus 15. So it's, uh, and my hands are perfectly warm. Uh, so that's the bike. And uh, I love the color of this bike and uh, 
Just gotta work on the fitness a bit. Oh, so I just uh, thought and uh, we just sit and have a little talk here. I, uh, since I quit smoking just over a year ago, I've gained 35 pounds, you know, over half of what I lost, I gained that back. And I've had a lot of trouble the last few weeks just sticking to a diet. I, the diet I know that works for me, that I like to eat on, that I don't know what it is. It's, you know, I think it's a combination of everything. Anyway, so my goals for this year is to get that weight back off, you know, personally. And then also, I want to bike more. I want to get out more all right but right now i'm a catch 22 i've gained weight so it's you know fat biking is extremely hard for me uh you know to go this you know two or three kilometers today is pretty near sucking the wind right out of me and uh i'm used to pedaling at uh, a certain a certain pace and with the fat bike that doesn't necessarily work for me so i've got to adjust i've got to adjust my expectations but I need to get this weight back off and I need to get biking more because that's that's what I love to do as simple as that so you know I, I appreciate everyone's you know encouragement everyone liking the channel and uh, it just helps mo motivate me just a little bit so uh, that's what I'm looking for for 2024 now as far as you know some of the stuff I did last year I just putting down my glasses switching iron some stuff i did last year i did the epic eight um and i was thinking to myself i might not do it again this year but then i'm thinking to myself if i don't do it i lose that motivation to continue to bike more to be able to do more laps than i did last year so and with biking more is going to help me lose weight so it's all, all catch 22 so chances are i'm probably doing the epic eight again um, now, whether I do it as a team or do it as a solo is still up for debate. Um, I'm hoping some friends might be able to join me. Um, but we'll see how it goes, you know. Uh, I do know that I will be doing some work with, uh, not work, sorry, some lessons in that uh, with Mini Adventures this year. Exactly how that's going to play out. Uh, we'll see what what she has when uh it comes out i believe usually she posts her stuff in march i'm thinking around then so anyways wait till her stuff comes out if you're interested in the epic gate uh usually it opens up sometime in february um so yeah any questions you know throw them in the comments you know i'm open for discussions and open for ideas you know but, uh you know, these goals are my own, but encouragement through others helps helps with these goals too. So anyways, uh, if you're ever in Millbrook, you wanna come riding, give me a dingo. I'm not the fastest rider. I do like to take breaks. I'm more of a social rider always. I think I always will be a social rider because I like the social. That's the way I am. Um, look at that, somewhere behind me is, oh, look at that, sun. There's sun over there. Boy, we haven't seen that in a long time, it feels like. Good to see it. Wow, peeping through. That's awesome. Anyways, there's a squirrel moment for you. So, get out there, have fun, get some riding in, and enjoy nature for its beauty. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I was just talking to that gentleman there and uh, he's like so motivational he's like so what if you can't go fast so what if you gain weight he's like at least you're out here 
okay? Which is true. There we are, High Plains Drifter. I'm gonna go up, Drifter here. There's a few spots with ice. Stop and adjust my face mask here. <sighs> oh my god. So much harder riding fat bike. <sighs> so much harder. But you know what? I think it's worth it. My hopes is my hope is that if I can ride the fat bike enough that when it comes to the regular mountain biking season it'll be easier for me. And that'll include losing weight. Every year I've improved mountain biking and I want this year to be no different. What a beautiful trail. The groomers got out. Well, the snow is still wet, packed down. And uh, with them packing it down, it uh, provides an excellent base. Yeah, a couple spots where there's lots of water, there's a little bit of ice, but if you get lucky and get more snowfalls, we got the base here that's gonna, gonna last. It's gonna hold out for, if we get a few warmer days.
You know what? If that's what I gotta do to make it through this ride is stop five to ten minutes once I get my body to the point of where I can't gas my breath and that. That's what I gotta do. I'm in no rush. Push it a little close to the tree there. I had to gently angle myself out from it. Come on, buddy. Well, there we go. Oh, my legs are all cramped. So, we're taking the metal climb trail, we're going out. Oh. 
Ja. Oh, my legs are cramped up. Yeah, I'm not even going to do Millie again. Just the legs are cramped. Plus, I'm starting to get a, uh, a sinus headache for the cold, which is not a good sign. I think I'll head back in, definitely warm up on the face. The rest of the body's not bad. My hands, even though the gloves are wet, they're not cold, it's starting to get a little cool. But they're not cold. And since we're on our way back, I'm not going to change them out. I could take the gloves. I always carry. In the winter, I carry spare gloves in my pocket because cold hands. 